Okay. What? There's a bounty poster back in Rhodes already. I think that's... That's probably not them, right? That's just a general bounty. Okay, well, uh... Not sure if we should be walking into Rhodes right now because of our bounty and all. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, you know what? It's a bit of a ride to Valentine anyway. Why don't we just pay off the bounty in Rhodes and... Take the stagecoach or the train over to Valentine. It's been a while since we've done that anyway. Yeah. Here. Will this horse be following me? I think so. <laughs> I really don't know what's going on with me today. Like, what? Hello. Mm. Hello again. Hello. Just wondering here. Mark Think Johnson. Going after them, are you? I'd wager you're more than up to it. Twenty-five dollars. Evaded capture years ago and is still at large. He is to be captured alive. I happen to know that feller is farming the swamp. Or trying to, up by Siltwater Strand. He's a bad egg. Fancy that. I seen them coming and going here and I never had an inkling. Back so soon? Siltwater? I think we've been there before, right? Siltwater Strand? Okay, well, if we're in the area, we'll do it. But it's $25, so at some point it's like, why? Why am I doing all this? Hey, look! Charles is back with his art gallery stuff, huh? All right. Well, let's go to Valentine for now, and then we'll go back to Hosea finally. It's been a while since we've done a main mission, feels like. Can I get a train ticket, please? Do I want to pay my bounty? Fine. <laughs> Got some bills to pay, huh? Yeah. We will go to Valentine, if that's okay. okay. Safe travels. Been a while since we've seen Mickey, too. Maybe it'll be nice to see what's going on back in Valentine. It's been a long time since we've been there overall. I'm smoking. Back in Valentine. Hello, mister. How do you do? I'm doing pretty good. Out. Get out of here right now. Are you talking to my horse? Morning. Howdy. Ain't you done pawing around for trouble? Oh, you're talking to the guy there, I guess. Can my horse come out? Are you just gonna keep my horse trapped in there? Morning, you. Get the hell out of here. Whoa. Oh, you're here. Well, how the hell are you gonna get past? Uh, can you wrap around if I just go back? It's your last chance. Get out of here, or there'll be hell to pay. Sorry. Oh, I think we just gotta wait for the um, train to go first. Yeah, okay. Hey, fellas. Partner? I gotta get back some of my honor by talking to people. <laughs> Is Mickey still around here? I don't see him. Hmm. Okay. Anything going on in Valentine? Yes, there is. Oh, brother. There's actually a surprising amount of side content that we've been seeing here, huh? As opposed to main missions, I mean. Maybe it's because we haven't been back to Valentine in a bit now. Oh, hey! Is that aggro right in front of us? Oh! Hey! Yeah, I guess I should ride you, right? Because you're, you're the one who actually has my weapons and whatever. Oh, buddy. 
You follow. This way, girl. I've never studied you before. Huh. My temporary horse. Okay, follow me. Follow me. Maybe after this one, we should go back to the camp. I know Albert Mason's nearby, and that's why we came here to begin with. But I feel like it's been a while since we've done something main. It's been a while since we've been back to the camp, too. Oh. Oh! Do it! Alright, come on! Duel right here. Who else wants some? Huh? Uh who else? Me, I guess? Sure. I'll shoot you. I wouldn't mind some practice. Well, let's get to it then. Why did Agro run away so quickly? Let's go. You got this. Alright, now we get our duel. The one we missed back in the saloon. Hey, move. Can we do it though? I didn't kill you. Do you want to die? Oh my god. I will get the law. I mean it. And there we go. It's okay, right? This is legal. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem like anyone's telling on me, but I guess I'm not gonna loot the people. I'm kind of suspicious of that guy, because he's running away so fast. At least I can get free ammo. <laughs> Why'd you run so far away? Oh, this is the house that was under construction the whole time. No, Brother Protus, you're simply not a gentleman. You're a scoundrel. And quite frankly, talking like that in front of a lady is exactly what I'd expect from you. You blackguard, Twin? you foundling. My dear Helen, I told you, I told you quite clearly that this Where are they? Man, this creature whom the fates have decided to call my brother is nothing but a spreader of lies and a believer of nonsense. Our mother had a son and then was buried, but a witch. Passing the house gate. My friend, you there. Good morning. I would love to talk to you. Oh, you were here. I thought you guys were at the house. Twins and a woman. Oh, it sounds like drama. Yeah, what do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do because I look like that milk sop there, but <laughs> tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See, even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head. Like <laughs> William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. <laughs> yeah, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Two at the same time, or? Hey, <laughs> you guys look like you're miming. Please put us out of our misery. Now is as good a time as any. Go for it. This is bizarre. But I won't. I won't kill you. Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Shoot 
sir, while our courage holds. Oh my god. Ready? Aim. <laughs> Fire. Sir? She's too scared to look, and so am I. Oh god. Don't move. There it goes. <laughs> now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen! Silence, you blackguard. Sir, shoot the wretch. I'm ready. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have brains. Guys, I'm not Don't gonna. Think too much about it. Just shoot. I'm not about to kill your brother over some random girl. Bravo! <laughs> now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the Lizard man, please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Why too much? Nope, my sweet. <laughs> Did he just give me two dollars for that? Well, whatever, I suppose. Who does a woman like, though? That's the main issue here, but she seems to want them both. She wants to eat her cake and have it, too. Wow, greedy lady. Greedy lady. Hey, the general store. The first store I ever walked into in this country. Enjoy the morning, mister. You recognize me? You ain't been through in a while. Got everything you need. Have a look. Yeah, I haven't been back in a while. I don't even need to sell you anything, really. Now, let's have a look. Do you have a side business? No, I think after the last side business, I'm done with those. <laughs> they seem pretty... Like, they're definitely things that lower your honor, right? <laughs> Is there nice clothing in Valentine? I wonder. Those two guys were pretty nicely dressed. The vac the vaquero? For those that ride hell for leather. Taking a shine to that, huh? Eh, it's okay. Um The Valentine. Seem to have your eye on that. Yeah, the Valentine outfits are poor looking on average. This one's okay, I guess. Wanna ride with this one for a while? Sure. Are there variants? It said, uh, there seems to be a plus sign here. Choose a variation of the Dewberry Creek. Can I, like, see? Or is that not how this works? Maybe someday I'm gonna quit Valentine. Probably move out west. Maybe go back to the catalog. Dewberry Creek. Eh, same. Okay, well, it's probably not as fancy as what we're wearing right now. I sell out of that pretty fast. But it'll be fine. It's suitable for hot temperatures, though. Is that average? I mean, I guess I'll just try it out. Good choice. Good choice. Someone's yelling outside the store. Accessories? Gloves. Uh, I guess I'll pretend to be fancy by having rifleman gloves. How about that? Black is fine, maybe? Ain't no point in being cheap, huh? Sure, whatever. <laughs> I feel like it's a bit too much, but hey. Thank you. That's it for now. Thank you. I don't know when the next time I'll see you will be. Now you're here, and I have Watch no idea yourself. where aggro is. <laughs> okay. Well, there shouldn't be too much else here, and we might not want to dawdle for too long anyway because of the, you know, the whole situation with the bank. Is that the same corpse as previously? There was only one? Alright. Albert Mason. 
Yeah, okay, let's just get this over with and we will ride back to camp. It's been a long time. Um... I'd really rather ride aggro because you have weapons. Brought enough trouble around here. Let's go, girl. Other one wanna follow me? Good to see you back. Recognize me. Mister. Hey there! Waltzing through here like you own the place. But the O'Driscoll's got designs on us. What did you say? Law never seemed to find the bodies in this town. Damn this thing. You know, Driscoll. Just minding my own business. You looking to prove something here? Maybe. Okay, you know what? Spread the word. The old Driscolls are here. Let's not chance it. We had a pretty bad streak of bad luck just a while ago. Let's not let's not continue it, alright? We got a new outfit, but if possible, I'd like to get a shave or something. Although I kind of want to, um, hmm, I kind of want to grow out a beard too. It's just that if we do that, we have to really maintain it well, cause I don't want to walk around with like a dirty beard with fleas in it or whatever. And I get dirty so often. I feel like I take a bath like what, once every twenty days? <laughs> it's pretty bad. One PM. Albert Mason, we should be fine. Cause I'm assuming he'll go away if we take too long again. But it's afternoon right now, so it should be fine. Albert? Here you are. Photos of the scenery. Very good. Very good. Hello, friend. Mr. Mason. Oh, oh. Mr. Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Uh, it's my pleasure. P please, you step away from the cliff edge. But I'm trying to get an eagle. They're there. Yeah, they're beautiful. But unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but... Uh, Mr. Well, Mason? Please, sir. I'm dense. But not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite. Quite. Oh! Oh! Oh. Ah, damn! <sighs> Wait, is he dead? You were right. <laughs> I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know, I really did get some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh, oh it's like a farewell. We're not actually doing anything for him this time. Farewell, Mr. Mason. Oh, I wonder if that's the last one, because that one was pretty... It was really just a farewell. Okay, well, I suppose we should take a photo here by ourselves at the minimum, since we're here already. There's no rainbow, but... Uh, how do I take a selfie again? Can I not? The color is so faded. Oh, when's technology gonna improve? Hey, seriously, how do I take a selfie here? I don't remember. <laughs> Spying on those random people. 
Yeah, okay. Call it a day. The eagles. That's nice. Oh, self-portrait. Oh no, we gotta do it the other way if we want the view behind us. Like this? Yeah. Aggro, take the photo for me, okay? Uh, it's pretty, pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah, like that. We're done. <laughs> if I ever have a wanted poster, put that photo up, okay? That's the one I want up. Oh my dear goodness, Aggro! You are so dirty! You ate the burdock root! Oh no! Take it easy. I think I had more than one. We better. <laughs> okay. Alright, girl. Well that should be it. That should be it for over here. There's not much else. So I guess we'll go back. There is a bounty here, but we'll get back to the camp. We haven't been back in a while. Let's go talk to Hosea. And I think the electric chair might be ready too. Yeah. And the art gallery. Oh, sir, just in time. Oh, you're a good man. A good man. Uh. What, are you trying to get on my horse? No, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? You're done now. <laughs> What were you trying to do to me? I don't know. Uh... I guess you can go. But he's been antagonized now. Just make this quick, boy! Only want your head! <laughs> Should we just kill him? He was gonna rob me, right? I feel pretty certain he was. Cause he just ran up to me! He was trying to get at my horse or something. But, uh, we never actually confirmed it. Before somebody notices this, I think we should get out of here. Oh, am I back at the Braithwaite Manor? I just noticed. Where am I now? Ah, we're right above Braithwaite Manor. No, for now, let's go back to the camp. Yeah, because we'll have to collect that eventually anyway. But not right now. So we'll go back this way. It's because that guy just now distracted me. <laughs> I feel like we had someone previously like that, right? Someone who's like, oh, can I... Can you please bring me back to town? But it turns out he was, um... He was a scammer trying to steal my horse and whatnot. Buddy? We're almost back at the camp. I wonder if we can hunt a deer before we get back. Because I know we need... We need a deer for yeah. the satchel upgrades. I mean, if I see one. Slow up now. Is that a deer right there? It's running away though. That was fast. They scare easy, don't they? If I see one without scaring it. By the way, I am happy to report that so far, I haven't had a single horse accident. <laughs> Maybe it was a horse problem. Maybe I should have been riding aggro the whole time. Maybe the polka dotted horse is cursed for me. Oh my god! Whoa. You must be joking me. Pristine. Hey, pristine means good, right? Yeah? Did it say rifle? Yeah. Is that a rifle? Yes, it is. Frick. Okay, that wasn't the one I wanted to get. This one has two stars. So it's nice that we got it, but it's not what we're looking for here. The one that was pristine, I think we let it get away. Just wait a second, girl. Yeah. Probably ran away after hearing all those gunshots. 
We got one pelt, but it's not really worth too much, is it? It's poor, because we shot it too many times, probably. Collect three perfect quality rabbit pelts. That's a new challenge. Oh, I got new equipment at the trapper. Cool. Hello, mister. Do you want to say hi? Well, you're something to look at, friend. Yeah. I don't know if he was angry at me or what. I think we're almost back at the camp. No deer for us today, I guess, unfortunately. Oh, I have another temporary horse back here. Hey! Who's there? Hey. Man coming in. It's me. Good to see you back, Arthur. It's my first time coming back here. And supplies are low. What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? I don't know. <laughs> Can I hit you here, aggro? You did good, girl. And as for you, Mr. Polkadot. Come with me. I'll put you right here. Yeah. So we can have a bunch of horses that are temporary, but not really ours. Multiple? Okay. How's everybody doing here? Trapped. In a swamp. Yeah. It's like hell on earth. It beats freezing to death. In the south? In a swamp? This is not for me. Nor me. But we're alive. Well, Sean's not. Jenny, Mac, Davy. Folks always die, Karen. You and me will die. Trick is to enjoy it while you're alive. That's the trick of it. Well, I haven't mastered that bit. You? You have more fun than anyone. Do I? <laughs> hey, girls. Maybe I do. We got a nice spot to chill out here. There she is. Arthur, covered in blood. Oh yeah, I went hunting. Nothing for you to concern yourself with. We're fine. We're fine. It's okay. Can I have some stew? So how are you? Originally, I was planning to go to Hosea, okay, right. but it seems like there's some companion activities here. And I think there's a Pearson one. On the map right now, that's fairly time limited, so maybe I should go do that one first. Ugh. I wouldn't feed this to a hog. That bad. Hello, friends. Gentlemen. Hi there. Mr. Morgan. Bet you never thought you'd end up here, huh? I didn't know where I'd end up. What you got going on? Nothing much. Yeah, that don't surprise me. Yep, <laughs> yep. Okay, Arthur. Is that Tilly in the back here? Hey, Arthur. Mary Beth. You want to talk? Yes, I do. You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? <sighs> Acting like a fool. How so? Killing and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It's finally happened. This town I, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. 
Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see. Don't be so rough on yourself, Arthur. The difference between you and Micah is that you can actually self-reflect. I don't get the feeling Micah does much of that, does he? <laughs> huh. Uh, do we want to refill our camp supplies first? And then I'll go talk to Pearson in the back? Judging by the icon, I'm guessing he wants to go hunting with me? Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. Uh, don't mention it, Miss Grimshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes, at least. Thank you. I think. Hmm. How's Dilly doing? Lenny wants to rob a stagecoach, I guess. How's Jack doing? Spy on him. Hey guys. Always good to see. You. Oh, hello, Arthur. Is the boy behaving himself? For the most part. All right. Hi, Uncle Arthur. You're growing up fast. That's what Mama says too. <laughs> Just don't turn into me. You promise? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you two to it then. Take care, Arthur. Jack is so cute. Did you see? He was doing finger guns and all. Okay, what supplies are we missing here? Ammo? Well, that's not too crucial. Nobody gave anything worth anything. <laughs> Lenny, reading glasses, five dollars. Okay, whatever. Whatever. We want... Ammunition. And there you go. I would contribute to the camp funds, but what do we gotta buy? We already bought everything. Feels like we don't really need to contribute to the, the camp funds anymore. Especially because we have gang savings, right? We got like $10,000 there. And I don't know what Dutch is doing with it at all. Oh, hey Lenny. Good evening, Arthur. Evening. Hey, Molly. You alright? Evening. You know, I'm sure Grimshaw could use an extra pair of hands around here. Well, I'm nobody's serving girl, Mr. Morgan. Well, we all need to do our share. All right then, Arthur. Look, she's not even eating. She seems worried sick or something. How are you? We've noticed that something is wrong with Molly. Good evening, Arthur. But Arthur himself might not have noticed yet. Dutch and Molly's problems. Swanson. Good evening, Arthur. You really need to start helping out around here. I know, I know. You're lucky Dutch has a soft spot for you. Okay. Hmm. Pearson? You guys are pretty far away. Oh, he's right by the... Um, the dock place. Ooh. <laughs> Hello? Arthur, you free? Yeah, sure, man. You wanna go hunting? Sure, old man. Ah, enough of that old man nonsense. I'm in the prime of my life. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> How you getting now? Bored. You see that swamp, Arthur? That's God's own pantry. What are we eating? Venison? Come on! Let's go gather some crawfish. See what else we can get. Crawfish? Yeah, crawfish. Finest eating there is. It's not just crawfish. No. There's monsters out there that'll eat a feller for fun. Oh, Arthur. I thought you were a man. No, sir. Huh. When it comes to prehistoric monsters, I am very much a coward. <laughs> Head for those trees across from us and we'll take a look. 
on the starboard side. The what? My left, your right. This is a boat, Arthur. Okay. Whatever you say. Okay, go slow so I can see. My eyes aren't what they used to be. No, no, ground is too high here. Keep following the shoreline. What exactly are we looking for? We're looking for low ground and a lot of muck. I can't really... Oh. Having some trouble navigating here. Are we going hunting or are we going fishing? Or both? Slow rowing. Pull us in over there. Uh, here? Yeah, yeah, come on. There's more than crawfish in these waters. Stop your whining, please. It's beneath you. I don't want to get eaten. Place. Now tell me, Arthur, have you ever birthed a cow? No. <laughs> it's nothing like that, but it's equally as gruesome if you're squeamish. You're really selling this, aren't you? All right. This sounds appetizing. We're not doing traditional hunting, are we? Now, do you see this hole? Yep. Well, it's sort of like a natural trap. Just want to stick your hand and watch. And there! <laughs> there, you see? Good. Well, seems easy enough. Uh-huh. Let's go find another hole. So... How long were you in the Navy? Oh, years. Well, it must have been a year, at least. Or close to that. That's quite a range. All water under the bridge now. No pun intended. <laughs> oh, look there. Another crayfish hole. You see it? You try this time, Arthur. And remember to reach down deep and... Get right in there. They like to dig in, the little blighters. How could anything possibly go wrong? It's all right. They don't really bite. Oh. Ah, I got something. Nicely done. Why don't you see if there's any more down there? Okay. Feel like I'm gonna catch more than just crayfish. I bet there's more down there. There we go. What did I tell you? <laughs> okay, come on. Let's try another hole. Won't be much of a gumbo if we don't find some more. Wow, Pearson and his exclusive hunting knowledge, huh? As expected of our chef. Get down. Get down. Talking of other creatures. There. Those gators? Yeah. Three. And they're female. Must be guarding nests. So, gator eggs. Really valuable. Even better eating. I'd love cooking with them. Okay. Tell you what. I'm gonna sneak over to the other side of them, draw their attention, and then run like hell. Now, assuming I don't get eaten, you go plunder the nests. That's your plan? You're madder than I thought. Shh. I've done it before in Sumatra. It's easy. I've heard that line before. Oh, ye of little faith. Wait here, Mr. Morgan. At least he's not telling you to get the gator's attention. All we gotta do is collect the eggs. Remember a long time ago, we've done this before. We got some eggs from a nest, but nobody was guarding it. Maybe we got really lucky that time. We gotta be careful of them coming back too. Where do I see more? Here. Are they coming back? Well, they will be if they see me freaking trying to get at their eggs. Okay. 
Any more? No, that's it. That is it. We gotta get back without getting eaten. Can we do that? Yup, I'm coming. Come on, jump in. All right, sir, take us back to the dock. Woo! Excellent. That's what I call teamwork. I don't think I've ever seen you move that fast. People pay a lot of money for those eggs. I'm told there's a collector in San Denis who gives top dollar for them. For millinery, of all things. Yeah, because who doesn't want a hat with an egg on it? Are they really worth that much? Huh. That was fun. Uh, I must get out more. Is that your idea of fun, is it? <laughs> oh, what? Hey. Here, have some crawfish. I'll give you some of those eggs. <laughs> hey, maybe you can hatch that. Get yourself a new friend. There's a thought. A new reptilian best buddy to replace Mike, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a fun little thing. Pearson seems like he's kind of cranky all the time, but he's a good guy. He's taught us how to hunt crayfish today. Hey. Hello, Arthur. That last stew I had was pretty damn good. Glad to hear it. Yeah. We gotta show appreciation to our chef. He's the one keeping us all fed. If he gets sick, who's gonna feed us? I don't even know. <laughs> 